It's really fantastic to be here. I'm super excited. I'm from the UK, and uh, I grew up in a really dull, boring place, a small town you'd never have heard of. I had a very tedious childhood. I remember one time when I was a kid. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing really terribly boring. I'm going to tell you about my own children, if you'll bear with me. Now, I know no one wants to hear about anyone else's kids. I didn't care when my friends started telling me they were having children. I was like, oh, good. Bye. <laughs> They said, what do you mean we can still hang out? Sure, but we can't. You can't hang out with your friends once they have children because once your friends have children, your friends may as well be dead. They, <laughs> they never get back to you. They never get back to your messages. They stop returning your phone calls. It's like they've died. And it all happens like a line of dominoes. Pete and Hazel, dead. Jenny and Duncan, dead. Oh, she died on her own. That was brave. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. And you and your partner, you have a child, you pass through the veil together. Oh my God, we're dead. <laughs> you wake in some misty, foggy hall with great clouds of diaper cream scudding by. <laughs> who are these figures emerging from the mist? Oh, it's us. It's everyone you ever knew who disappeared when they had children. We've been waiting for you. Welcome to boring heaven. <laughs> oh. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, what is there to do in boring heaven? Well, come round for a drink during the day. <laughs> ah, <laughs> things are looking up. What can you offer me? Would you like a chamomile tea? <laughs> Have you got anything stronger? Oh, yes, yes, we can leave the bag in. Come on. <laughs> All I do now, my entire life, is I get up at 6 a.m. and I stir oatmeal. That's my whole life. Get up, stir the oatmeal. <laughs> Keep the family alive. <laughs> It's the most boring food there is, oatmeal. Shall we put honey in it? No, no, keep it boring. <laughs> Stir away the memories. I mean, I love my family, but they've stolen from me even the luxury of suicide. <laughs> Stir away the memories. I had a threesome once. Stir it away. Stir it away. <laughs> Well, I will say we communicate with our children very well. They're very communicative uh, kids, one and four years old. And we taught them baby sign language when they were little. This is a real thing. I can't recommend it enough. You teach your kids a couple of simple signs. They can communicate with you way before they can actually speak. So my daughter, she's only one. Uh, we can say to her, milk. She'll understand. Milk's on offer. Milk. Uh, biscuit. Breach. Breach. Snipers. Three. On the roof. Go A-square. <laughs> it could save your life. I find the hardest thing is when me and my wife will go out uh, on a pathetic date. We'll get a babysitter. Not for us, we're not that contemporary. But uh, <laughs> to look after the children. We'll get a babysitter as we go out to like a, a party, but like a 60th birthday party. So uh, basically a pre-wake. Uh, or even... <laughs> oh, I feel like maybe the room's a bit older than I'd realise. You, you're quite personally hurt by that, I'm so sorry. But we'll go, you know, we'll just go to a bar or we'll go to a restaurant within 500 yards of our house in case we need to get back for the babysitter, you know, in case there's a, I don't know, a wolf or something. And then uh, we get back home. My wife goes upstairs to take off her makeup because she's made an effort because she's a champion. And I will be left alone in a room with a 17 or 18 year old woman who I've never met before and with whom I have to make awkward small talk while I pay her off. I regret that phrasing. That's a terrible phrasing. Uh, <laughs> But nonetheless, it's me and a teenage woman in a room, and I'm so, I'm so, it's, it's so important to me to make sure that she doesn't think I'm trying to flirt with her or, God forbid, relate to her. That in that moment, I spontaneously transform into a Victorian gentleman <laughs> and start doffing an imaginary top hat. Oh, pleasure to meet you, madam. A ple God, not a pleasure, no, no, a uh, uh, neutral, neutral to meet you. <laughs> Uh, you are in the employment of my married wife, you see, to whom I married by marriage in the traditional fashion. I assure you, you're quite safe. God, that sounded weird. Uh, uh, I trust the children live. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, here am I, clattering on. You must think me quite the church bell. Now, uh, here, here are your earnings, which I shall place in a neutral position. <laughs> Lest by no chance might our skin. I've said too much. <laughs> I shall return now to share my embarrassment with those below stairs here at Downton Abbey. <laughs> although, although obviously that doesn't make any sense because I'm Victorian and Downton Abbey is post Edwardian. But you knew that. <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys.